Who needs an art gallery in this city when you can simply walk the streets and neighborhoods throughout and find pieces on walls like this or even this massive one behind me, a brand new one at Adelaide and John by an artist named Alex Bacon. He was actually helped by a program called Street Art Toronto or START and this is actually one of the smaller ones you might see. The size and scope of the work is on another scale. Massive murals seemingly a mile high on the sides of buildings throughout the city. Most are there to offer more than just a splash of color, often to tell a story, like the latest in Scarborough meant to celebrate caregivers in the community. The way our um, programs run is that they're set up to really uh, support artists with skills and um, certifications and the types of things that they need if they want to advance through their career to be able to do murals at this scale. The Street Art Toronto or START program is run by the city and has been around since 2012. The idea is to spruce things up and give people reason to walk and cycle. Like at Young and St. Clair, where the latest piece is meant to represent the Deer Park neighborhood. The artist, known as Birdo, has now actually flown south for the season, but says the support from the city has been huge. I've worked uh, civically all across Canada, across the world, and, and yes, it can be tricky with, with red tape, but we have people in that department in Toronto that believe in the cause and, and are doing amazing things. Art and public art is a service. It is a service that is delivered to the residents of Toronto. And one of the, uh, I think, other wonderful things about the Street Art Toronto program is that it uh, does not come from the tax base. Instead, funding comes from partnerships and advertising dollars. Slate Management actually owns the Deer Park building and another to the west, where the Flem mural has now stood for years and has become a fixture in the area. Slate's committed to injecting vibrancy and culture back into Young and St. Clair um, to help us sort of transform the neighborhood from a nine to five kind of office community into something that's a little bit more fulsome and vibrant, um, more of sort of like a, a bustling urban hub. Don't look now, or maybe you should, but there's a lot more than cranes you'll see when looking up in this town. All this in addition to the mayor recently declaring 2021 as the year of public art, which means more funding coming forward, a brand new 10-year strategy, and a few more festivals along the way, which also means more pieces of art just like this one over the next few years.